Less than 13.5, the midpoint formula. Probably the shortest lesson I'll do all year. Uh, the midpoint is, you know, the point in the middle. Shocking. And it's just the average of the two points. That's it. I mean, really, just plug and chug. But people want an example. I'll do two of them. 7, negative 1, and 3, comma 8 was the midpoint of them. Well, a lot of people aren't going to remember the formula, so if you come into this situation in the future, I, I really recommend just keeping it simple and, and making a coordinate plane. I can make one that's fairly accurate and usually works close enough. I'm going to need another one over here, so while I'm at it, I'll draw it. And I'll try a couple of different points here, how about negative 6, comma 4, and uh, negative 7, comma, negative 5. So, what's the midpoint? Well, I'll do the formula in a minute, but 7, negative 1 is here, and 3 is here, and if you look for a midpoint... Probably about here. I'm going to go with 4.5. That's eh, probably closer to 5. 5, comma, looks like about 3.5. So we do x1, x2, y1, y2. We've done this a lot. And it's just that simple. 7 plus 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 plus 8 over 2, which is 10 over 2, which is 5, which is 7 over 2, which is 3.5. That's what we got. So you can do it either way. This graphing way is wonderful for getting a ballpark, but it is not recommended if you need to get a, a serious problem done. And I made a mistake here. Actually, I'll leave it because it's negative 7, one further, and negative 5. It's supposed to be slightly higher up. And I'm not even going to guess at that one. And negative 6 and negative 7 is negative 13 over 2, which is negative 6.5. Although us math geeks would rather you write it as negative 13 over 2. And negative 0 0.5, or negative 1 half, which is about, and clearly I did not graph it quite right, but close enough. Oof, I graphed it completely wrong. Negative 7, 5, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, about there. So midpoint's about there. And that's it. Use formula. It's really not that complicated. You should be able to remember it, but you can always graph it too. Good luck.